Hi everyone! Sorry it's been so long since I've done a video, but I am finally back. And I would also like to tell you that I am a guest design team member for the Diamond Dies. And I'm going to share my first project with you as a guest designer. And this is for the Diamond Die Summer YouTube Hop. They are doing so much during this hop. They are offering, which everything will be linked down below so that you can read and also participate in the rest of the girls who are doing this. But if you use the word HOP15, that will give you 15% off your total order, and that is no minimum. And it's U.S. and international shipping, and that ends on July 10th. Plus, D is also doing a $50 gift certificate and three $10 gift certificates to four lucky winners. So make sure that you do leave a comment and make sure that you are a subscriber of the Diamond Dyes um, YouTube channel so that way you can participate in this. And don't forget that you have to comment on everyone's videos that are all linked down below. The drawing will be the week of July 10th, so make sure that you do enter by that deadline. All right, so let's get on started. Dee sent me some beautiful dyes. She really did stay with a tropical theme, and it was really nice because I live in Florida, so I really got to play around with these dyes, and they were so beautiful. So she sent me the palm tree. She also sent me the shovel and the pail, which were a really cute combo. Three starfish. Um, I have two of them here because I did originally use the two, but then I sticked with just one of them. And she also sent me three seahorses. So they're so absolutely adorable. And I decided to create a beautiful card with this. So this is the card that I created. And I did a La La Land girl. And I don't remember her name, but I colored her up. I also did some paper piecing because I love the pattern paper. This is a Wild Rose Studios. Um, and for my little palm trees here, I just did some Copic coloring on them to give them some shading and some dimension. And I love how I did this. I even did the pail to incorporate with her pail here. And I just used my Copics to get that little effect. Um, I also did incorporate my little starfish down here. And these are brand new at Hobby Lobby, which I thought were so adorable. And I thought they worked perfect in here. And then I love how this has the little water effect to it. And I did add some um, textures with the Copic markers to get the sand. And I did add some little glitter to that so that way it looked like the sand was shimmering. So yeah, what I did was I just basically cut out all of my little um, palm trees, the pail, and the starfish. And then I did some airbrushing with my Copics and my airbrush machine. And I did do some of the darker shading first with just a straight Copics. And then I added some little splatters. So it really gave it more dimension. And then also on the pail, this was just the Copics. And what I did was a feathering technique to get that dimension to it so that it looked like it was shiny down the center of it. And then with the starfish, it was kind of the same thing I did with the sand where I just did the airbrushing and then I did some splatter work onto it so that way you could see it. And this is a very dimensional card, as you can tell, with a lot of movement to it. And yeah, I'm just, I'm in love with this card. I think it came out so absolutely adorable. So that is my first one. I also am going to be doing a July and an August um, design team spot. So make sure that you are watching out for that as well. And don't forget, there is a lot for this giveaway. So I'm going to have everything linked down below. Please make sure that you check it out and see all the wonderful ladies that are participating. All right, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.